Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I was at the dump today, and this was sitting beside the metal bin, and I asked permission to take it, and they said, yep, it's not in the bin, you can take it. So I did, and uh, I think it probably will not run. My guess is that the reason they cut the wire to the spark plug is because it had no spark but that I don't know that for a fact but I'm going to try I'm going to take the cover off and see if I can wire in a spark plug wire I mean it has the carburetor on it it's pretty much complete the handle is broken they had it hooked together with some bailing wire and who knows what else but you know what even if the motor won't run, I, it's got scrap value, but beyond the scrap value, that is one cool gas and oil tank. David Bradley, Sears Roebuck and Company. I mean, that would be a perfect gas tank to go on a little motorized bicycle, don't you think? I could probably, uh, sure I could, I, I could uh, make both sides into fuel and uh, that way it would have a spare tank if the one runs out I just turn the other one on and keep going and make sure I get some gas. Not that I would be going that much of a distance with my motorized bicycle when I get it built anyway. But I thought you all might like to look at it. I have no idea how old it is. I'm guessing that it's probably from the 50s. Maybe even as old as the 40s. What does it say here? I can't tell by the, uh, the serial number and stuff what it is. Maybe somebody else knows more about this can tell us. But uh, yeah. Use regular 30 weight motor oil. How cool is that? I thought it was a good score. Oh, the other thing I got was a um, lawnmower battery. And I hooked it up to my charger. It already had like 12.7 volts. And so I let it charge till it was full. And it took a full charge. And it was showing 14.7 when it was done. So And it didn't take long either. So I'm thinking that's a good one did have a small one off of like a scooter or something and it was junk. I kept getting a fault reading. But uh, that's weight for the scrap yard. Well, there you have it. I worked some more on my shed today. I got all my corners on. Um, yeah, and I said, there you have it. And here I go. Keep it on, keep it on. It's raining now. I have all the corners on. I started doing some paint and I finished painting the doors. Don't, not liking it. Uh, yeah, not liking it. It's going to have to get a more of a crimson red color. But it's, it's all covered in paint now anyway. And I just got to run around with a paintbrush and finish painting all my trim. You hear the rain? Yeah. So I got to get in out of there. But I'm happy. Put another shelf inside. Haven't even put anything on it yet. Well, I shouldn't say that. It has stuff on it, but not what's going to stay on it. For my next chore, i got to paint the back corner here. And then I can rehook my fence back here, back to this corner. And my fence here will get hooked to this corner. And that will take care of that. And I, I just realized, once I get this hooked up to the building, uh, I won't need that hook and eye anymore. Not on that corner anyway. It'll end up hooking onto the fence to hold that door open. That's fine. Time to go in, I think. Foolishness staying out here in the rain. But we get all our corners on. 
I thought I just gotta paint them. Got more paint to do here. I did put my peak piece up there. That's gotta be painted. Yep. Started cleaning up. Got a little more to do yet. So uh, here I am walking around showing you what the ground looks like. And there it is in all its glory. I probably should take a picture from the other side, don't you think? That side looks more finished. Let me get over there. And I could, maybe if I took a photo, I could use that for my, uh, my icon for here, right? How would that be? Thanks for watching, guys and gals. Bye.